Welcome to Pleasant View. A lot has happened in 25 years. Mortimer Goth made his fortune, the Pleasants put down roots, and a new generation of Sims was born. But the peaceful, happy existence is in jeopardy when some new arrivals to Pleasant View start stirring up trouble, creating rivalries and tensions for all the families in the neighborhood. Can anything be done to restore the peace to sleepy, idyllic Pleasant View? Come along with me while we acquaint ourselves with each and every household to discover the answer to this question. Next up, the Dreamer family. They live right here on 195 Main Street, with a total net worth of 43,945 simoleons, but a trail of unpaid bills at their doorstep. You see, Darren is pursuing his dream of being an artist, while his son Dirk hits the books. And Darren may have found his muse, but will his creativity be enough to win Cassandra's affection? Yes, Darren Dreamer is currently holding a one-sided romantic interest in Cassandra, who is now presumably happily married to Don Lothario. Is his want to gain her favor now completely in vain? And will Dirk be able to raise his grades enough to get into college and find a reputable career? Let's find out. As soon as we enter the residence, we are greeted with two messages. Darren Dreamer wants to paint for a living, but does he have the skills to pay the bills? Those past due statements are starting to pile up. This is certainly not an understatement, as they're scattered haphazardly all over his house. The total amount due, as this message states, is 844 simoleons, letting us know exactly what Darren has to do now. But first, let's get to know him and his son a little bit better before we send him off to his craft. Darren is a knowledge sim and a brain stretcher, and his lifetime want is to max out seven skills. But that is a long time coming, and right now, Darren has something else on his mind to give his oblivious best friend, Cassandra Lothario, a kiss. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if Cassandra would actually go for it, though. She is a very traditional kind of sim, after all, and she's absolutely infatuated with her new husband, Don. But that's not going to stop us from locking that one in, just in case. Darren has missed his wife ever since her death, Will he ever get another chance at love? 
Well, if we have our way with it, he certainly will. Darren is an Aries, and that means that he is slightly more sloppy, shy, and lazy than he is neat, outgoing, and active. Even so, Darren is a fairly fit sim. He's also pretty playful and a little more nice than he is grouchy. Heading over to his career and skills panel, we can see that Darren is considered unemployed, but we know that he wants to make his passion of painting his full-time career. And with those seven skill points in creativity, I'd say he has a pretty good chance of doing just that. Darren's interests include food, health, paranormal, work, toys, and sci-fi. And even though he enjoys painting, to him, it's his career and not just any old hobby. And so he technically doesn't have one just yet. Darren is turned on by athletic sims who sport custom hair, but he dislikes sims who are great cooks. A pretty odd thing to be turned off by, but there it is. Diving into his memories, we can see that his mother, Delilah, taught him most of what he knows, including how to use the potty, how to talk, and how to study properly, while his father, Davis, taught him how to walk. Darren was a good student, and even though his mother passed away as a teen, he still grew into a well-adjusted adult. He started dating his late wife, Darlene, as a teenager, and married her after he received two promotions in the business career track. They also had their very first woohoo on their wedding night. A wonderful moment for Darren, surely, but that did nothing to shield him from the blow of an unexpected job demotion. He quickly regained his former position, however, after the birth of their son, Dirk. Life was going well for the Dreamer family, until the fire that took Darlene's life. The father and son duo took this death very badly, but Dirk, unfortunately, received the brunt of it, aging badly into a teenager and becoming quite careless with his studies. Darren, unwilling to see his despondent son spiral downwards any further, knew what he had to do. He quit his job and business and became a full-time stay-at-home father, vowing to pull Dirk out of those dark depths and into the light once again. After this, he met Cassandra, and they became very close friends. Between constant calls on the phone and frequent outings downtown, Darren soon found himself completely and hopelessly in love with Cassandra, but he just didn't know how to express these feelings. He decided to bide his time and wait for the right moment, but sadly, he waited too long, and Don Lothario took his place by Cassandra's side instead. Not only is Don with the woman he should have been with, but Darren also knows exactly how Don really is, and because of this, he very much dislikes Lothario. Darren was invited to their wedding, but he just couldn't bring himself to witness the sim he loves marry the town player. Is it too late now to win Cassandra over? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, but first, let's see how his son Dirk has been doing. Dirk, a fortune sim, has big dreams, and now, with his father's help, big motivation. He is an early bird, and has the lifetime want to become a business tycoon. He also has the want to make out with his girlfriend, Lilith Pleasant, which we are going to lock in for later. Though it's been very hard without his mother, 
Dirk has made every effort to do well in all areas of his life. So it looks like his father quitting his job and focusing solely on him has done wonders for Dirk. We can also see the effects of this decision in his current grade, which he has now raised to an A-. But both he and his father Darren want him to bring home another A-plus report card, something that maybe we can get accomplished today. He also has two skill points in Charisma, and one in Logic. Dirk is a Virgo, and he's quite different from his father. He is kind of neat, quite shy, a little more active than he is lazy, a bit serious, and just a little more nice than he is grouchy. He is, however, also fit. Dirk's interests include politics, food, health, culture, work, and school. And he hasn't yet found a hobby. Dirk is turned on by red-headed sims who are great cooks, and is turned off by unemployed sims, which makes sense for him. Diving into his memories, we can see that Dirk had a good childhood. He learned to walk from his mother Darlene, but learned everything else from his father. This, for whatever reason, did not include studying, but that didn't stop Dirk from getting an a report card. He also met sisters Lilith and Angela Pleasant when he was still a child, but only grew close to one, Lilith. After this came the fire, which took his mother away from him, and he spiraled quickly into depression. The climb back upwards was slow and tedious, but Dirk was finally beginning to see that silver lining. His childhood best friend, Lilith, was there for him through it all, and soon they shared a first kiss together. This was followed by them sneaking out and getting busted, something that many people would have blamed on so-called troublemaker Lilith, but that did little to sway Dirk from going steady with her. He knows there's more to Lilith than attitude and rebellion. He only wished other people, like her family, could see it as well. He also has made out with her already, but it just simply wasn't enough for Dirk. He needs another session, and he hopes he can get it today. Now that we know all about the Dreamer family, it's time to send Darren on up to Azizel and start bringing in some simoleons. This is what Darren will be doing for the majority of the day, while his son Dirk is off at school earning that next a report card. Good luck, Dirk. In the meantime, we get to watch this very exciting process of Darren creating his wonderful work of art. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna fast this for it now. Yeah. <laughs> Darren has gained enough enthusiasm in arts and crafts to talk about it with other sims. Great! Darren has gained enthusiasm in arts and crafts. He can now read about this hobby in the newspaper. Awesome! When a sim has to go, a sim has to go. Well, back to it. Well, it looks like Darren's vision is being realized. Picasso would be quaking right now. Dirk has just returned home from school, and it looks like he's managed to obtain an a report card again, which took care of a big one for both him and his father. To celebrate, he's gonna go call up his girlfriend, Lilith, and invite her over for a little celebratory makeout session while his father continues to work on his masterpiece. 
Lilith has just arrived on the lot, so if Dirk wants that makeout session, he better stop dancing to the stereo up there and get on down to greet her. But god, I think he could give Lothario and Prandy a run for their money even. Look at those moves. Darren also has finally finished his painting. Still haven't found your artistic voice? Try painting a still life or a portrait of a family member to add a personal touch to your artwork. Beautiful. Stunning. Gorgeous. Step aside, Monet. There's a new kid in town. Rembrandt? Never heard of him. I just heard the jingle of love and it looks like Dirk and Lilith have realized just how strong their feelings are for each other and it only took one after school interaction. Well, it seems like Lilith and Dirk have decided all on their own to express their feelings for each other in full with a casual woohoo. Yes, they have stripped down into their underwear and they're gonna have their very first woohoo together. Right now, right on Darren's bed with Darren waiting outside. Oh my god. So much for being quiet. Oh well, teen angst and hormones and all that, I guess. Well, I suppose Lilith won't mind giving him another makeout session then. And then he has the nerve to complain about it. Hey, you wanted this, buddy. Darren's just gonna eat his sandwich quietly and ignore all that. <laughs> Darren's social was running really, really low, and luckily for us, the phone just started ringing. Oh, hmm. it's Cassandra. Hmm. She's probably checking in on him. He didn't come to her wedding after all, and she probably just wants to make sure that everything's- <gasps> Hey, I found some new places to hang out downtown. Do you want to meet me there? Oh, but should he do it? Cassandra is a married woman, after all. It simply wouldn't be right for him to test the waters right now. But that is not going to stop Darren from joining her downtown. He is not going to pass on this opportunity to be alone with Cassandra. He's waited far too long already, and he won't be making that mistake again. And of course the first thing he does is stare at a plant- <gasps> Attraction! No! Darren! Stop playing with that arcade and get in there! Yep, that'll do. Ooh, shaky Cassandra. I'm sure Darren doesn't mind. Well, they stop dancing and they're just chatting in the middle of the dance floor. Aww, she thinks he's absolutely hilarious. They make such a cute couple. Oh my god, Darren's want to kiss Cassandra was just fulfilled. He's gonna dance kiss her. He's decided he's waited long enough to tell her how he feels, and since he's been so bad at that, he's just gonna show her. Poor Cassandra has no idea what she's in for. Let's see how she takes it. Cassandra has accepted his kiss, and she's just fallen in love with Darren. I can't imagine how confused she must be right now. She just married the man of her dreams only to realize that she has feelings for her best friend. But right now, she's just gonna bask in the moment, keep on dancing, and gyrate her pelvis at Darren, I guess. Thinking that will come later. Oh, look who it is! Looking good, Mort. Um, I think Mortimer might be a little bit suspicious. <laughs> Lilith's sister, Angela Pleasant, has just walked behind the bar. Mind you, this is supposed to be the good sister. Okay, so Darren really had to go to the bathroom after all those drinks, and Mortimer decided to follow him right on in. 
He's a smart man, and I'm pretty sure he knows exactly what Darren is up to. Now he's come up to talk to Cassandra, and she's telling him she likes painters, and she would really love to travel the world with the man she loves, and he's telling her, you know, the sun is always brighter on the other side of the globe. And now he's laughing his head off at her. Good fathering, Mort. <laughs> Darren, unfortunately, is too tired to prove Mortimer wrong, though, and he's giving Cassandra one more dance kiss before he heads outside to the community phone and calls a taxi to return home, head on upstairs, and put this wonderful night behind him. Darren is up bright and early to get his next masterpiece underway. Also bright and early come even more bills for Darren to pay off. Can relate. One down, one to go. Welp, here we go again. Darren has gained enthusiasm in arts and crafts. He can now browse the web for sites relating to this hobby. Um, can I help you, sir, that's come uninvited into my house? Your creative abilities inspire those around you and make the world a more beautiful place, Darren. I have come to offer you membership into the My Muse 2 art studio, where vibrant colors and crafty creations are the norm. Well, that's great. Now, get the hell off of my lot, pal. Darren is now a crafty creator and has already gained six points in the arts and crafts hobby. Good for you, buddy. You've got this, Darren. You've got this. And look at that. Painting is complete. Sell it or go into buy mode and hang it on the wall. He, of course, is going to sell it. Get those simoleons and use his newly acquired funds to pay off all those past due bills. Now, this is the final step to ensure that the Dreamer household stays afloat, at least for now. And so, only one lingering question remains. Does Darren Dreamer have what it takes to turn his passion into his career? Yes. Yes, he does. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this intro, please be sure to leave a like and maybe even a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content, and if you're just passing through, I hope you'll join me again. Next up, we'll be playing The Pleasant Household, a very well-known family exuding the picture of suburban perfection. Their altruistic facade starts to crumble when it's revealed just how shaky their family foundation truly is. Will Mary Sue ever be able to put her job on hold in favor of her deteriorating family? Will Daniel be able to curb his desire for the house made while his wife is away? And will their squabbling daughters be able to break free from their spiral of constant feuding and find their own peaceful paths in life? Check back in soon to find out.